people have been wondering what it's like to go on a Pawling Beth Foundation trip. And uh, in this video, we hope to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of our trip to Uganda and Zambia. Where are we right now, Zachary? We are starting off in JFK, heading on to Kenya Airways to fly to Nairobi, and then on to Uganda. Squeaked onto our flight here. We landed uh, 10 minutes after boarding started, and here we are, Zach. Here we are, eight minutes until the flight's supposed to leave. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amtiaba International Airport. Kindly remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt signs have been switched off. 45 minute flight, we got our team. This is the dream team, Zach and Paul. And, uh, Hopefully we all make it through. What's going on, Timmy? How are you? Sammy! Hello! Good to see you. Yes, thank you. Good to see you. All right, everyone. Here is the update. We have made it to Entebbe. We got Israel. We got Sammy. We got our people. We don't have is our bags. Very typical with abroad travel is that you lose your bags. Plan for tonight is to get a hotel in Kampala so we can get all of the discs tomorrow and then make the trek out to Bundibugio. Let's leave here at 8 to go to the airport and then we will hopefully get our bags. Thank you. Happy faces. And then we're going to head all the way to Bundu tomorrow. If you can start that process, that would be great. Uh, what I just talked to Brian with the PDGA, what we want to do is make you the country coordinator for it. So then Sammy and you can have a team of people around you as well, but be recognized by the PDGA in that. And then also maybe even if we can expand towards more East African countries too. The, the, the best thing is that in, in Kenya we already have someone there that I think is doing a good job. Here we are, halfway into our drive. Little pit stop. Always a good time for some catch. We made it, finally. Yep. We were in the rainstorm. We are here in the mountains. All right, it is almost eight o'clock on Wednesday morning. The traveling is over. We have arrived at our work site. This is whole one, everybody. I think. All right, let's go inside the mind of the designer himself. All right. So this hole has a nice uphill slope. 
it's going to be the most open, so it's going to be the longest hole on the course. Just trying to get the positions for the signs right now, and then we'll come back and dig in the actual angles uh, on the tee boxes. Is it required to have a hat like that in order to be a course designer? To be a good looking one. No. <laughs> what is the next hole looking like? The next one we're walking up there and going up that hill so we can yeah. Now what you, what you can Yeah. Now what you do, what you can literally do after getting this one, you can you can move along. Yeah. There's continuity there's continuity of movement when you're playing. So it should be smooth from here to here. Exactly see. All right, we have finished marking out the course, and now we are starting on the digging process, which is the most manually intensive. There's a hole that used to have a lot of rocks in it. And there's hole one. This is the basket of hole number nine. Much easier than the first hole. Right, Israel? A lot less rocks. Yeah. This one's easier. It's better to make. All right, you want to tell us what's happening here? Yeah. Yeah, right now. Yeah, we are mixing. We are a complete mixture. Sand are here. Cement is there. Sand is there. So after mixing the sand with cement, we'll be adding these aggregates. Then we'll be mixing with water. Then after doing that, we shall be distributing to a different Baskets. I want to see the basket standing. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, what do you think now? You see some baskets standing up. Beautiful. You get to see the view of the river San Miki Valley down there. How's everybody feeling? Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Sweaty. Hot in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, lunch is on its way. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. Walking up to see the view. This part here? Yes. No. Chili pepper from Uganda. Oh, baby. No more. That's good. My eyes, spicy. Are, my eyes are watering. And break it. After breaking, you display the sun heat. So that is, uh, that is, maybe like that portion something like then it's go hot. Now, if anything, you mingle your portion, you eat, no problem. Well, everybody, it's 4 30. It's the end of the day. Yes. We worked pretty hard. We did. And uh, we got a little tour of this whole community this afternoon after lunch. Really cool. We saw a great view. Was it the Rift Valley? Yeah, the Rift the Valley. The Rift Valley and the Congo and uh, uh, Similuki River. While we were doing that, uh, these guys kicked butt and dug the rest of the tea sign nice. holes for us. So yeah. we kind of ran out of things to do. But uh, we're supposed to be leaving around five anyways. It's been a good first start. I think we got a lot done and uh, means more time for clinics. All right, everyone, day three. Day How are we three. feeling? That way. Feeling good? Feeling good, yeah. sleeping good. Sleeping good, we all got uh, a little bit sunburned yesterday. A little red. A little red. Well, not all of us. Not, not, not these guys. <laughs> Heading back up the mountain today, we have uh, tea sign holes dug, but uh, the tea signs have to go in. And then I imagine some tea cake will be Pad Teaching, and, we're and gonna maybe some playing. We're gonna level out the the tea pads. Yeah, and then yeah, should be should be an afternoon of fun.
we walked down here to something unexpected today. Yeah, we uh, had planned to do some natural tea pads and it sounds like Israel and the team here really wanted to make it even more professional. So we walked down to them already starting a tea pad on hole one and doing a pretty darn good job. And uh, we're gonna have some nice concrete tea pads for the Botlock community. <laughs> Above and beyond. This man gave me the assurance. He told me we have all the resources. So, yeah. mm, this is good. Yeah. It could be better. It could be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's our design team out finalizing the tee pad locations. Moving this one a little bit so that we have more of a circle. Yeah, it's way too close to the previous basket. Yeah. Uh, even though they probably won't be multiple foursomes playing close together, we want to set a good example because some of these people will end up doing redesigns and doing some designs on here. So we don't want to leave things in such a way that it gives them the idea that that's okay. at hole nine, looking at some progress on the tee pad, leveled it out and they have slashed so much. And progress is happening on the course today. Here we are at the most complete hole of the course so far, of our tee pad curing in the basket. Last day uh, in this part of Uganda, we got uh, liver for breakfast, and uh, we're gonna go back up to the community for half a day, finish out our time there, say goodbye to everybody, and then head down towards Fort Portal for our stay. All right, we got everybody. Yeah, we got we, we got right. Paul. He's still here. Paul's in the back. Well, no, no. What about other Paul? Did oh. you get him out of his room this oh, yeah, morning? Oh yeah, we got Paul. Hey, hey there he is. We got everybody. <laughs> We're going up to the community for the last time. We'll see what Paul has to think about the finalized course. Just in case you thought the rough was bad at your course. This is about, Zach's about circle's edge here. Got it. Hey! All right, let's see the putt now. Here he goes. <laughs> well, the afternoon has arrived. We played two rounds of disc golf, and that brings our time to a close here in Olangama. What an amazing place, what a great group of people. I'd say I'm very impressed with the skill displayed and uh, I hope they continue to uh, enjoy the game because now they have a really beautiful mountain course right in the backyard of their own community. On to Kampala. It is Sunday morning. We are north of Kampala. We're gonna go back to Israel's stomping grounds in Deje University. I'm looking very much forward to seeing the course and playing the course. 
we got some warriors. Not everybody is at 100% right now, but we're we're kicking. We're still moving. Uh, this will be our last full day here in Uganda, and then off to Zambia. Last day in Uganda. Figured I gotta play the course in this shirt. Mm -hmm. Decided to see the course with baskets on it. Last year we were here. Got to do a lot of the prep work and teaching, but never got to play the course with real baskets. It's always extremely rewarding to come back to a project. We don't get to do it that often. To see baskets in the ground is quite special. Yes, it is. Yes! How did you get to <laughs> We're in a randola. Five holes in. Gotta wait. Well, the rain delay included a lunch. Lunch was good. Rain has stopped. We are back, hoping to complete the course before more rain. Just in case. Brought back up. We hope that you have been enjoying it. It sounds like you have. Uh, it's cool to see Vincent and Diana taking leadership and becoming the coaches. And just really thankful to both Israel and Latimer for laying the groundwork to make it all possible. And I can't wait to meet all of these little ones who will be playing in the future years too. This is exactly what our dream was, of what a project would look like around the world. That the people would be interested, that they would enjoy a new game and that they would play with each other and get each other excited and it's, it's happening perfectly and we're so grateful to be a part of that. Quite around, our Good. time to, in Uganda is coming to a close. It's very beautiful come to come back to projects. We don't get to do that often. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the course? I did. It is soccer goal just scored, I'm guessing. But anyway, the course is great, challenging, excited to see the uh, improvements they're going to make, hopefully concrete tee pads. And they're, they're doing great stuff here. It's been a great trip. Hate to say goodbye to everybody. But mm -hmm. We got work to do. Be Uganda!